In this video, I'm going to compare two Chinese distros against each other. On the left-hand side, we have Linux Stepin version 12.12. .12. On the right-hand side, we have Ubuntu Kylin version 13.04. Both distros come with English variants of them, or English languages, so there's not actually too much Chinese in them. Ubuntu Kylin does have more, but of course the, the English variant of that is Ubuntu itself. I've had to use the English language for both of them because, uh, well, I can't read or speak Chinese. Now the styling of the two distros is rather different. Linux Deepin is a bit more of a hybrid between Windows 7 and Gnome. You've got the launcher where you can filter down between different sorts of applications but you can also type in specific applications. So that is rather nice. Ubuntu, on the other hand, is a bit different with the Unity launcher. Yes, you've got that sort of launcher view, but if you want to look between different sorts of applications, you have to go into the filters and delve into the installed applications. But I don't use it that way, I just use it as the searcher. Now I think that styling on Linux Deepin is rather nice. You've got the transparency effects there, You've got icons along the bottom of the screen in what is like a start bar. The desktop environment is deep in desktop environment, which is kind of built on GNOME, but you also have Compiz there. And there's an annoying feature. If you move the mouse over the menus on the left-hand side, whilst you've got something typed, it'll wipe it out. <laughs> anyway, you have to kind of be careful when you're moving the mouse there. I was going to show you there that Compiz is installed. There are some transparency effects in Ubuntu Kylin, but you have to play around with Compiz to get them enabled. And it's not as nice as Deepin. One of the showpiece features of Deepin is the software center. They've done quite a nice bit of work on this. Got a nice theming here, and when you look at the applications, it gives you the application ratings and reviews, I suppose like Ubuntu does. But of course, they're mostly in Chinese. The installer was meant to be a bit special as well, with like parallel downloading. I didn't really notice that because the applications are downloaded so quick, I couldn't take advantage of that. It certainly wasn't parallel installation though. So, I don't know, really not a huge gain over the Ubuntu Software Center. You've got some customized programs here. You've got the Deep in Music and a Deep in Video Player. So, D Music and D Player. D music does look quite nice at first glance, but I don't know where it's getting these album covers from because that's not the covers I've got in the MP3 files. Ah, now it's right there. You can theme the deep in specific applications by clicking on that uh, little t-shirt icon and select a different theme from there. Now it is quite a unique feature and you can add extra skins if you're able to download them. But to be honest, I'd rather have Clementine music player. And the D player, well, yeah, it's fairly simple if I can't open up a video. Ooh, okay, that didn't work very well on resizing. We may consider that a virtual box issue though. I noticed that the scroll wheel doesn't jump forward like it would in Totem. That's a bit annoying. Again, okay, another of these programs, I think it looks good, but practicalities of it, yeah, I think there's other programs that can do a better job. The web browser they've chosen is Firefox. It takes you to their own homepage. You've got some handy links to other websites. Also on this start bar, we've got the shortcuts to Nautilus and show and hide desktop. Oh, here's another nice feature, the user manual, where it almost seems to be grading you on progress. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's a grade or not. Hey, it's showing you how far you've read through it. That's very nice if, you, if you're new to Linux. In fact, it's very nice as well if you're new to computing. Oh, I think I missed a page there, didn't I? There we go. Yay, 100%. So with the pre-installed applications, uh, let's narrow it down a little bit. So under internet, we've got, you've got a choice of browsers. You've got Firefox and Google Chrome for web browsers. You've got Skype, Thunderbird for email, and IPTux Instant Messenger. Multimedia, DMusic, and DPlayer we've already seen. Sound Recorder, VLC Media Player I installed. Graphics or GIMP I installed, but it just comes with Image Viewer. Productivity, that's a compiled HTML viewer. And we've got two Office applications. We've got Kingsoft and LibreOffice. Now LibreOffice you've seen there, so let's open up Kingsoft. Okay, yes, we have some missing fonts. 
Uh, so let's do a new file, new blank document. Ah, it's a bit more like the ribbon bar in Microsoft Office. In that case, I'll take LibreOffice for my choice of Office applications. I'm not a fan of the ribbon bar. Now for Ubuntu Kylin. Along the top here, it's slightly different to Ubuntu. You've got a weather indicator. And I've got absolutely no idea what that says there, but I know it is the weather indicator. Because that told me. And we've got a Chinese calendar. There's also a shortcut for the accessibility settings. On the desktop, that shortcuts to the home folder and recycle bin. You'll notice that it comes with a different theme to Ubuntu. Now the applications we get on Ubuntu Kylin, so it's Firefox for the web browser, which is really nothing special for the home page. You've got a partial suite of LibreOffice, the Ubuntu Software Center, which looks a bit more basic than Linux Deepin, but you can install the pay for applications through here. I didn't notice if you could through Deepin or not. For the applications, it's not hugely different. You've got a few games installed in Ubuntu. Internet, fairly similar again, but you've got BitTorrent client here, one that I always remove. And if you want Chrome, you'll have to go and install it yourself. But that's very easy to do. Just go onto the Google website. Media. Ah, now that is different. SM player instead of Totem. Again, I'll probably ditch that for Totem or VLC. I don't mind either of them. We've got Cheese Webcam installed and you've got Rivenbox for Media Player. Doesn't look as nice as Deepin's D Player. And to conclude, well, starting with Linux Deepin, easy to use. Well, yes, it certainly was a very easy operating system to use. The styling, um, yeah, it's very nice actually. Uh, the, theming that they've got going and uh, the different transparency effects, the styling and it being very reminiscent of Windows could uh, very well appeal to a lot of users. The boot up speed, not bad, but for virtual machine timing that was about 12 seconds, a little bit on the slow side. Responsiveness, Ubuntu felt a bit faster. Didn't find any bugs with it. Uh, the selection of pre-installed apps, well I'm not sure about the two office suites. I can sort of see the ideas, yes, no, I don't know. And the good points, you've got those nice OS specific themes apps with the styling that comes with them for the D music player, D video player and software center. The bad points though, it's only got the short support time of nine months. So overall I've given this distro 85% and then onwards to Ubuntu Kylin. This wasn't quite so easy to use, it didn't have that handy use guide that uh, I just thought took Linux deep into the next level up really for easiness. The styling, a bit like Ubuntu, it, it could do a bit more work on it, but it's not bad. The boot up speed was slightly faster and responsiveness was that little bit faster. Number of bugs though, there's a serious issue of boot up failing and I found this in Ubuntu. Could be more to do with Nvidia, but replacing the kernel does solve all that. <coughs> the good points, I didn't really have much more to say than from my Ubuntu review really. Um, I'm moving along, the bad points are the same as Linux deep in it. it's only a short support time of nine months. But overall I've given this distro at 72%. So of the two, I personally would still take Ubuntu Kylin because I do like Unity. But my recommendation, Linux deep in. Hey, they did a pretty good job there with the theming that they've got and just making it appeal perhaps to a more wider audience than uh, Unity does. So thanks for watching, see you later.